hey lovelies and welcome back to my channel my name is confidence the world and i am your hair subject matter expert yes in today's video we want to look at few things how to achieve a realistic padding space and how to form your diagonal line easiest way to form your diagonal lines for ventilating if this is a topic of interest to you you want to keep on watching now this is where we stopped the last time right now without further ado let's jump into what we have today okay so first of all i want to show you the directions on the net in, in this front part now from this triangular fold these are the the lines tilt towards the ear and after the triangular folds the lines run straight to the forehead this is very important because if you don't get this right, if you don't get the straight lines right, you cannot determine which are your diagonal lines. Are we together? So let's get started. Okay. I had to zoom in so you can see the holes I'm working with because um, let's just get into it. So now working on my straight lines, of course, I told you in this area, they actually tilt towards the ear. Okay. So I want to do the first one and then I go ahead on the same line and do the second one. Now, after the second one, I want to look at the lines that tilt towards the back. If you're on the left hand side, look for the lines on your left hand side. If you're on the right hand side, look for those lines that tilt towards the right, right hand side. Okay, this is the easiest way to determine your diagonal lines if you don't know your straight lines if you don't know where your straight lines are facing you cannot get which are your diagonal lines there are a lot of lines on this net and then the direction of the lines also matter so you just want to you know this is for braids right so we are doing two lines spacing after this line as you're starting the next one you're going to go past two lines not two holes it's not the same thing two lines that's one hole spacing if this is if this were to be for a hair closure you cannot do two line spacing is one line which is less than a hole just one line in between okay so i this is a re-edited video the other one was not clear, a lot of color, a lot of disjointed um, um, patches here and there. Editing is a major problem for me. So guys, just before we get into the end, to the end of today's video, I want to start live streaming. Anything I'm doing, I want to do it on a live video. Because so more editing is a whole lot for me. I'm just going to cut out the most important aspect of the video just because I'm trying to keep it short. So I think, I don't know, share your thoughts. Do you think we should start live streaming? I don't mind. I can always come live. I know that I'm not going to do any form of editing afterwards. I will even be more consistent, uh, more frequent if I am live streaming because editing is a lot for me. Right. So we're just following the line we have chosen. Like, you know, work, I told you, work in sections. The section where we've chosen, we're going to... I'm just going to continue on the same line. I'm keeping my lines. I'm not alternating because this is for braids. And for a beginner, you need the, these lines to guide you when you're um, when you're prepping your your units for your braided wig, right? For your braids. Okay, so basically this is it. You just want to run on the same line, right? Until you get to the front. Um, so yeah, let's just get to the front here. Yeah. Now we are in front. So let's see how this works. You're not changing direction. Just start and finish. To me, this is the simplest way of ventilating. So we're not going to be, I'm not going to show you different parts. I had told you something very important. You want to know where your straight lines are facing. And for every part of this net, the way I started this section is how you're going to start your each section. So what you're going to do is determine the length of the section you want to work with. Start the way I started this very one and ventilate to the end. It's easier. If you're a beginner, it's easier to create your airline first because it's not the same pattern. The airline is what gives whatever you're doing class. 
okay no matter what i'm doing here if i'm going to leave it like this it's still going to show lines like this in front which is not realistic so you want to go back to our video on airline ventilation and watch that create your airline and that's basically it so you see what i'm doing it's very easy if you have your airline already you ventilate until when it touches the airline you move to the next line but maintain your straight lines maintain your straight lines that's very important so yeah this is it basically this is it you want to finish this section choose another section look for your straight lines start from the very bottom where you where the lines are doubled tilt it if you're on the left hand side tilt it towards the left ventilate until it meets with this one the one you've done already and continue until you get to the end so basically we have closed or we're about closing the first our first section and we're going to loosen just a portion of the airline and brush it over what we have and see the result after which we're just going to go ahead and fill up the net remember to ventilate in sections right so yeah this is basically it let's take a little portion you can see this is what you wait this is what you you call butter see butter <laughs> Okay, guys, so this is basically it. Let's just go back and fill up the entire head and come back to the padding space. Even when I chose to show you only one section and the padding space, this is still up to 21 minutes. I think I am not caught out for editing. I think so. So, guys, please don't forget to share you guys have really not been engaging with my content i don't know if i'm not living up to expectation i don't even know what you want keeping quiet is not helping me so i think we should just go like streaming where you can ask me questions i'll share the link to my facebook page so you can join from the live uh, from from this video from from the comment section please share what do you want us to do go live on facebook go live on youtube just share your thoughts and it will be implemented yeah so this is basically the middle part but i'll just fill up the remaining spaces and just leave the center parts how we achieve the center part and we'll get back so you see this is basically um, what i did before we're doing again okay i'll just leave you to watch when we'll get to the middle part how we achieve the middle part I'll be back. So yeah, I want you to pay attention to what I'm doing. I have to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Remember, for the remaining parts, we did total whole spacing. But you're going to keep a little section, say 10 lines in total or 8 lines in total on both sides for your middle um, parts let's say 10 lines on the average for your middle part because on these 10 lines now you're not going to do two two line spacing it's going to be one one line so first thing you want to ventilate the very first one on one side using one strand and then the line next to it you know you're not doing normal one row spacing or one whole spacing as you call it you ventilate first you want to ventilate three together and then do your normal spacing you can see the remaining two i just did now our one line spacing right and then in front of it you want to go back to the very first line which is supposed to be before your middle space is one strand you're using because in that middle space we're only keeping one line one line and if you're using one strand on the very first line that your one line is not going to appear as one line, it's going to appear as two lines, it's going to appear wider and very natural, if you understand what I mean. So this is on one side of the pattern space. We're doing first one, one strand, and then next two, two strands, and then you start spacing normal. And then on the next one, you're going to alternate. You're going to do one strand, and then you do the second one, two strands, and then you do your normal spacing. Do you understand 
one strand, the next one, and then you do your normal spacing. Then by the next one, you do three together and do your normal spacing. This one is two together and then do your normal spacing. Next one again is three together and then you do your normal spacing, right? So this is basically what you want to do until you get to the front. So I'm just going to let you watch. I'll come back when we are in the front. So guys, right now we're in front. So doing the same thing we've been doing, but because we're in front, we're just gonna do everything with single strand. Do your first one with single strand. Do your second one with single strand, okay. This one's gonna be three together. The last one was two, two. Remember single strand three. Remember still with single strand, and then do your normal spacing, all with single strand. This is the third one. So you see now, after this one, I'm not doing the normal spacing. This is the best way to create a realistic pattern. Whether you're doing a closure or a frontal. Whether it's for hair wigs, the only difference is if it's for hair wig, you'll not do two and three. You do like four and five. You get it deeper. You understand what I mean. So basically, this is it. We're going to loosen one side of this um, um, airline we have already created. Comb it to blend in with the front and see the kind of results it's giving. Okay, and after that, we're going to go off camera to complete the other part of the pattern space. And that's the end of today's video. Who's ready to see what, what it looks like? Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you resonate with my pattern of ventilation. And um, don't forget to watch those short ads on my videos those short ads that pop up when you're watching my videos okay and yeah this is hey my girls would be like is, can i just wear this thing like this i don't want to use it for braids okay so guys this is basically it and i present to you ah oh. don't you just love it this is pretty, yeah? Thanks for watching to the very end and I will see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to comment in the comment section how you want us to go about our live streaming. Bye!